Now, everything that's going on down here is actually pretty simple. The machine is not built with any kind of air brakes. It's hydraulic brakes. Again, the entire machine is hydrostatic. No air system on here. So the park brake is located here. And this parking brake is actually tied into the shifter. So I don't have any kind of a separate air brake release switch or anything in the cab as an operator that I'm, I'm, I'm going to release before I can move the machine. Tied into the shifter so when it's in park, the oil quits flowing through the system. And this park brake canister is mechanically applied and hydraulically released. So is what that means is when I shift into park and the oil quits flowing, a spring will actually activate inside that canister and engage a park brake at the rear axle. When I go and I shift out of park and into drive or reverse, that gets the oil flowing through the system. This canister will actually fill with oil and it'll release that park brake and allow me to move. So therefore, for any reason, if down the road something happened to the machine where mechanically I had an issue that caused me to tow it, I can actually go ahead and release this park brake just simply by pulling a pin and then cranking that spring and that would release the park brake to allow the machine to move. Now down here, this is actually getting into my main broom adjustment. Now the way the global is set up is the last thing we're going to do, if I can't see the pickup broom from within the cab, I don't want the ability for the operator to actually adjust the pressure of the pickup broom from within the cab. And the reason we do that is because from there, you're just simply guessing. And that can add too much pressure to the broom, not enough pressure to the broom. It'll affect the sweeping. It'll affect the broom life. That doesn't mean that this is a daily check that an operator has to make or a daily adjustment that an operator has to make. The way this setup works is simply from this side of the machine. I don't have to do both sides because I have this shaft that's running full width of the machine. I can take a similar tool to what I use to change those gutter brooms insert it into this buckle and I just simply thread that spring up and down the adjustment screw. And the amount of tension that I'm putting on that spring is what provides the, the amount of pull that I need back up on the center broom or the pickup broom to control the pattern on the ground. As that broom wears, the weight of the broom is what affects the tension of this spring. It will compensate and actually uh, allow me to have more of a self-adjusting broom without the necessity to come out and make an adjustment daily.